Greetings and welcome to Going Medieval. I'm Catherine of Sky and we are here in the beta build. Huge, huge thank you to the developers. This is a closed beta and I've been playing this a tiny bit and trying to like figure out what's cool and, and interesting. I wasn't actually sure whether I should make a video or not because there are a lot of bugs um, and I came across quite a few of them but it is kind of a fun game and it's interesting and I think that you'll like it. So let's start a brand new game. Uh, I love the herald heraldry already. Look at this. It's got a cat in the center. Isn't that great? So anyway, yeah, we already have. You can change different things here. I'm not going to do too much of this uh, because I just want to get into the game here. Um, so we have our village name. We can change uh library surrey let's go with surrey yes map type we only have one map type so far default size map game mode standard or builder and i think i don't never try the builder but let's go with standard and uh just say next and then we're presented with our colonists this is kind of a um rim world-esque game this is a colony builder uh single player only um we have christian kirke who is very good with botany carpentry. He really loves construction, but he's not very good at it yet. That's a good thing to have though. Um, let's see, culinary, no intellectual. That's not ideal. Um, that's for research. We need a lot of research going on. He has no, um, no training in melee. That's not good either. We can, we can also, oh my gosh, we have three men. We probably need some women on here. We also have Osfrith. What I really love here is this group skills thing. We can see that we have um, this amount of skills within our entire party. So I'm thinking Thoughtless Innkeep. Yes, they also have a backstory. Osfrith was known for the crustiest pie pastry in Shabby and poured a generous pitcher of ale to boot. Jovial and fair, he never hesitated to knock a few thick heads together if fights broke out either. When the world changed, Osfrith fancied himself a dressmaker, and so he set about using millers, flower sacks, sheets, and linen rags to clothe the destitute orphans and wastrels of Shabby. A frightful sight they were, shorn of their remaining dignity. Uh, sad, sad times. Culinary, speech, craft, and tailoring. So those, um, the backstories like Room World, they do affect the colonists. Uh, let's just see what we have here. We have Golfred, Melee and Mining. That's good. No skills in mining, but really likes it. Thinks he's going to be great at it. Um, we're not going to get that far into the game. Let's see. I think, do you have, at least you have Melee. Do you, does anybody have, um... Marksman. There we go. Oh, look. So Osfrith has this. You know what? This could be an all-male village. I'm not that bothered. Okay, they also have um, different perks here. Disfigured. After the fire, Christian did not really have a face, but he had a purpose. Few will look him in the eye. Uh, Christian seems to be personally permanently overheated. Throwing open windows and shunning warm clothes. He should be kept cool. Uh, let's see, Osfrith. He is chilly. Always complains of drafts and chills and huddles close to the fire. Oh, wow. All right, how about you? Okay, exceptionally large. So he has movement speed minus five. You know what? Let's just go with this group of people and we'll, we'll make it work. It'll be fine. It will be fine. It has to be fine because that's what we got. And as abruptly as it started, the reign of the plague ended. After it killed over 95% of the inhabitants of the British Isles, it simply faded away, leaving behind a world changed and not for the better. In the year of our Lord, 1351, three brave souls ventured into the countryside retaken by nature in order to start anew. The name of their new home was Surrey. An excerpt from Liber Hermagdonum. Magdanum? Magdanum. By the venerable Thavian New Exeter, uh, circa 8, 1365. So I'm not sure if this is actually from a book. Uh, I, I, the, the Three Brave Souls probably is just the game. But yeah, the, the Black Death did... I think it was 65%. It wasn't 95. Okay, so the first thing we have is a tutorial. I have already read all of this stuff. Um, so I will just... 
uh, talk about that as we go along here. First, wow, these poor guys. It's raining. Uh, really, really raining. Let's look at the lay of our land here. Um, so we have various things here. We have trees. The dead ones are the ones that I have been chopping because they're, it's kind of like the life cycle of the tree, like this one. Maximum yield in four days. Current phase growing. And there's like a miniature tree here. This is a shrub. What is this? This is another shrub. But yeah, chop down the the, um, the dead trees because that's like harvestable kind of things. We also have all of these like glowing hands. They look very quite creepy. But what those are are forbidden items. And we have different um, voxels. This is a voxel based game. And our, our folks can actually mine these voxels away. You can actually create underground chambers if you like. But mostly it's about getting the materials that you want like this is a limestone deposit here we have clay uh usually the tiny little piles will kind of show you where those are there is some iron on the map as well uh what do we got here this is clay more clay not very this is actually mostly dirt not clay uh and this is clay 300 you see that's a, a huge amount here and there's gonna be iron somewhere on this map we'll we'll look for it when we get to it uh, and then over here again, we have limestone. So yeah, we want to build somewhere. We, we're going to have crops and we're going to have a house. So I think we can build our house kind of probably over this dirt area, I'm thinking. Um, and then crops somewhere in the grassy area. I don't know if there is a, um, let's see, mine. I don't know if there's like better dirt or not better dirt. I don't think it matters. Uh, look, if you mouse over it, it's dirt 100%, even though this is colored differently. So this is dirt without grass on it. Anyway, um, we're going to have crops. We're going to have a house. So I think we'll build our house kind of maybe. Let's see. The This game does have enemies in it. So we could build the place... Ah, we'll build it out in the open. It'll be fine. It's really going to be but here we have some high ground. Again, high ground apparently matters. Uh, your archers should be on high ground. Um, let's go ahead and outfit our folks here. We have uh, a few people here. So who is the one that has goods? Yes, I know. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Um, good skill in archery. I think, yeah, there we go. Osfrith. Okay, my friend, you are going to have a bow. We have a fine short bow or a sturdy crossbow. I think we're going to go give you the, the short bow. Equip to Osfrith. So you give him this little thingamajiggy. Okay, and who was good at melee? Was it... I don't remember. Let's look. Let us see. Oh, here we go. Melee. It's probably not you. Okay, you're Christian. Uh, let's look at Galfred. Yes, there we go. So let's get this sword. 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 And give that to Galfred. We'll also give him the shield. I love that you can give him two items and he'll get both. They're kind of cued. Now we do have a tiny problem because we have a lot of stuff here. Um, we have books. We have chronicles. These are very important. We'll talk about them a tiny bit later. But a lot of this stuff needs to go indoors. Um, because it's getting kind of deleted by the elements here. Um, we have different resources. These little guys, these grasses are for hay, uh, and you need those for roofing materials. Um, and all right, so let's go ahead and start planting our house. I think this tree has got to go. Let's go ahead and just chop this tree and this one. Bye-bye, tiny tree. Bye-bye. And we will cut plants in this whole area. And cutting is like deleting plants. All right, so let's let them get going on this. Okay, folks, let's go. And after I set up the house, I'm going to set up a stockpile for where we want these folks to do stuff in. And I think after we set up the house is when we're going to do a schedule because, um, or jobs, I should say, because there is a job thing just like RimWorld and we can, um, we can make them do stuff. Actually, we can start setting that up now. Um, there's a very similar system to RimWorld where it goes left to right on each of the priorities. You can set them up twice. Uh, I'll show you up twice, down twice, or 
uh, middle or nothing. So I want to have them... Okay, let's pause the game a tiny bit while I'm setting this up. Okay, so tending is uh, tending to the to wounds of others. So we want them to tend to other people. We want them to heal. Um, I'm going to put hauling as a high priority as well. And then everything's going to kind of go below that. So Christian is really great at constructing. Let's see what else is he good at. He's just, let's see. Growing plants. He's got a high skill in those things. So let's just give him these uh, skills. You too. You get those kind of skills. Great. Hooray. Uh, hunting. Sure. Um, and I think we'll kind of leave the rest for now until we actually have them uh, doing jobs. Okay. Now we're going to build our base. And... I have uh, discovered some things about the base, um, mainly like numbers and stuff. So let's see, we're going to build the first part here. Let's just build a long room. Okay, 21x. Is that really 21? Nice. Okay, let's just build this big, we're going to build a big base. So this one, we want to be 10 uh, because the roof will span 12 tiles. So we'll just put that across like this. And there are ways you can extend stuff, but that's the most important part. So uh, we're going to have them do stuff. Let's give them an entrance. I think what I want to do is I think we'll put their sleeping quarters out here. Let's just go ahead and do this. Let's put a hay sleeping spot. Rotate. Put one there, there, and there. We'll have our production maybe along this wall, I think. So let's put in a door on that side. Let's see, wooden door, sure. One, two, three. Let's put it four, f uh, yeah, right there. Because a lot of the crafting benches are three wide. So that's just kind of for that specific purpose. Um, do we want to have a kitchen table and chairs? Yeah, let's do that. Let's build them a small table to eat at. Okay, so one, two, I don't know how much space they need for the stools and stuff, but I'm just going to leave them an extra space to walk by. There we go. Are those under? No, they're fine. They're, they're, they're weird. Help. <laughs> I don't know if that's right or not. Uh, it'll be fine. It Will it? I don't know. Let's, let's click these again. Deconstruct, deconstruct. Oh, they're going to have to, okay, let's unpause. There we go. And try that again. Okay. No, if I put them there, they're definitely underneath the table. And here, I don't know. Okay. Now, you know what? Whatever. It'll be fine. Okay. There are only three people, but we'll make a lot of stools. Just in case they have visitors. Okay. So we got the hay cots. That's important. They want a sleeping spot. Uh, and then let's put a door on this side. Okay. Wooden door. And we'll put that kind of right there so that they can go there okay great and then I think one more wooden door doo -doo -doo -doo, here oops let's rotate this like there that should be fine okay let's go and then they can start doing the stuffs and the things so they're gonna start taking all of this wood that they got from those tiny trees and they're going to just put it into the scaffolding thing so they're waiting for villager for building. So they kind of gather stuff and then they build it. They deliver like materials. And I like that there's a different, um, you know, state of construction. So meanwhile, back at the ranch, let's go and chop some trees. Now each of these little, um, I don't know what you call them, escarpments or something. Each of these hills has a little path that they can walk up, which is nice. So you don't have to worry about like building stairs or something for our villagers. I'm going to just selectively chop. I wonder if I do harvest. Can I harvest these trees? Like if I select this area? No, of course not. It would not do that. That would not be too nice for me. No, no, no. Okay, never mind. It's fine. We're going to need a fair amount of wood for this construction. So I'm going to go ahead and put our speed on three for now. Okay, take these... And then sometimes I just wholesale grab stuff because that's the way it's going to go. Okay, we have... 
All right, we're doing well. We do want to have our stockpile put in at some point. Oh, look at them go. Wow, they're just building and building, aren't they? Look at that. Good deal. Nice, nice. Good, good. Okay, and then they do actually have food right now. That's these packaged meals. So we don't have to worry too too much about that. We also have cabbages, which is great. Ooh. Osrith, his construction skill is now at level one. Excellent. Okay. So the other thing I want to do here is I think this might be a nice place for a farm. So let's pause a moment and we'll make a zone for this. Um, we have four different kinds of things. We have cabbages, carrots, beets, and barley. They each take a different time to grow. At first, I started out with seven by seven fields, and it was just way too much, like crazy amounts too much. So what I'm going to do is I'll just do a field of six by two for each of them so they can have some variety. I'm not sure yet if that uh, is needed, but that's okay. So here we have the barley. There we go. And getting rid of these things is extremely difficult from what I have seen. You can deconstruct them when they're not planted, but when they're planted, you have to um, cut the plants and then do the deconstruct because it's, you can't re like, like, oh, you can select it. Okay. This, uh, anyway, in my other test game, I was not able to select it no matter how hard I tried. So, all right, so we have lots of trees to chop down, um, but they are getting tired. Oh, did they build their beds? They did. Okay, that's nice. Good. Very good. We're going to get stuff moved inside shortly, but um, yeah, planting is really important. And you can see the, uh, the shadows getting longer. Look at this. There's like this fuzz, like this fog going on. That's quite cool. And they're going and chopping stuff now. Just whacking at the trees. Um, you also get uh, twigs from or sticks. Uh, those can be used as fuel. And you can see they, they're decaying because of ground type. And we're going to address that here shortly. All right. They're having a good time there. I think I'm going to turn up the sound a tiny bit because I feel like the menu music was louder. Um... And now it's like really quiet. There we go. Let's see how that works. There we go. We can hear them chopping and stuff now. Don't have to be like really zoomed in. Okay, so there they go. I'm hoping this game will get some different views because you can go up and down. So this is level 15. And if we go down to the level of our folks, let's see level six so you have this view but I think it looks a bit creepy um, and then when you get roofs and other floors it's kind of weird uh, I'm not a big fan of that so far but that's okay we'll we'll figure it out okay there's also with f10 you can report uh, any feedback that we have which I I've done a some of it with some of the bugs I've found um, but I will definitely Go further with that for sure okay um right so osfrith is having some food here they do get hungry so you kind of have to provide a a thing for them to do uh stuff with now let's go ahead and look at uh different crafting benches i think they have enough to do they're going and going to collect the wood and chop down a lot of those trees we have production stations so we have a butchering table we have a campfire that's for making food the butchering table is for butchering uh animals like this deer which could be a potential food source uh but we have boyer's table which will make bows uh and crossbows and then we have a basic research table which is extremely important as we find out uh, we also have a woodworking bench and you can make different stuff there as well like different um weapons and stuff so i think we'll start with um Let's have the butchering table right here. I don't know that we're going to actually need this right now, but let's just have it. And we'll have our campfire. I'm going to put that there. I'm not sure if it actually can, can light things on fire, but I do know that this game does have fires. There are weather effects. They all affect stuff. 
which is kind of important. Um, let's see. What was that? Oh, that was a campfire. I think we'll put also our basic research table. Let's pause the game because Christian is looking like he's a tiny bit bored and we don't want that at all. So you have... Where do I put this? The research table is weird. I have to explain that. That is... Uh, so, okay. The research thing is this. You go to research. Yes, and there's a tutorial. And then the first thing you need to research is agriculture. Unlock. So we have, we need a hundred research scrolls. Here's our research, our research scrolls are called chronicles. We have 150 of them. Okay. Uh, you go to this, click agriculture and say unlock. And then you have other stuff. So it's like, ah, uh, wait a second. We still have 150 of them. Um, so then we can choose tailoring and it says, aha, requirements, 150. The, the weird thing about this is in this game, you're supposed to keep all of these somewhere uh, in a stockpile in your house somewhere because the invaders, uh, enemies, can steal them. Uh, but I find this system very weird. So it says up here that you have available 50 allocated 100. So if we were to research any of these things, they're all 150. We need to make, well, this one is 80. But if we were to research this one, for example, we would need 100 more than we have. Um, I, I don't know. For, to me, it seems very unintuitive, which is why I'm explaining this. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I, I actually usually prefer a spent value, like, uh, you spend them and then they go away to magic land. Um, and then you buy another research. Uh, that's typically how games work. But, um, this game seems to be about that you can lose things, like you can lose the tech. But that also doesn't make any sense to me because people remember the tech, though. Like, if a person is working in tailoring, they're not just going to forget how to make winter clothes all of a sudden. Ooh, flax, sewing station. Ooh, shiny. <laughs> um, they're not just going to forget all of a sudden. So that's a bit strange to me. But I want to see how it plays out. I'm really curious to see if this works. My, um, my frustration, I think, is the whole... How many do we need? What what do we do at our production station to, you know, what, what limits do we need to set? So anyway, I feel like the research table belongs in its own area, potentially in an area where invaders are not going to eat stuff or, or eat, eat the yeah, stuff. Okay, so let's put that table right there. Um, and then we'll have a stockpile somewhere, maybe here-ish for that. Let's have a zone here for that. We'll make it this big. And these are temporary sleeping spots for now. Okay, this one is going to be clear all and we'll just have books. So these are the books that we're having. we got Chronicles, Textbooks, and Thesis. Those are further on in the research uh, tree. Like distilling requires five of each. Um, and then a lot of these are not available in the beta. But that's expected. So anyway... Um, yeah, we'll see what happens with all this and how that, that works out. But I'll show you how it works uh, with making products. Oh, here's a good one. So food. Let's make food. We want to produce until you have or forever. Let's make, I don't know, six meals. You can also type in the box, which I love. QOL is great. So um, I want to also make another zone here. Let's make a stockpile. I want to make a... Here, let's make a stockpile for finished food. Let's make this for... Okay, clear all food. Meals. Yeah, meals are good. And then I'll have a different stockpile, a big stockpile, for um, stored food. And I'll have that, like, here, I guess. Because we're going to have a lot from the crops that need to come in here. So clear all raw food. And I think we can also put animal car carcasses in here, but not bones. So deer, hair. Let's just do animal, but not bones. Okay. And that should be fine for food. Uh, and then the rest, uh, we'll figure that out. But they should start to bring these things. Oh, there they go. They go. Because hauling is a high priority. They're going to put this stuff inside. Now then, um, we have our house. Woohoo! Now let's make a roof for it. We need a thatched roof. 
Now, when I, oh, no, oh, no, we want to rotate that. No, excuse me. Give, give, give it back. Hello. Okay, rotate so that the peak is this way. There we go. Hello. Oh, no, I made the house too big. Oh, no. That's not good. <laughs> God. Seriously, game? Seriously, did I really do this? No, 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 no. No, 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 it's perfect. It's perfect. It's fine. There we go. Come on. There we go. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Okay, apparently building too long. But, wait, did it? <gasps> no, it didn't work. Hello? Let's do this. Can I do that? No? Why not? <gasps> no game. Okay, I think it wants a beam going through. And this is kind of an interesting technology. I find this very amusing. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, perfect. Okay, let's do this. So you can build beams, which help support the weight of things like roofs. Oh no, it worked. Why did it? Oh, you know what? I bet I'm on the wrong layer. That's right. Oh, okay, here it is. Nice. Okay, let's go down one and then delete this potential. No, no, no. Excuse me. Give. Give. The, the view is a tiny bit weird. All right, let's go back up and then let's make another roof over here. So these guys are making this from the inside, it looks like. Uh, I haven't been able to figure out how they make the roofs um, because I've had an issue where like on the second floor roof, the insides of the, the rooms were there and they couldn't build it unless they had access kind of from the outside. It was very strange. So I don't know if that's a bug or intended or what, but these guys seem to be working on it from the inside. You see this thatched roof happening. They're going to be very happy about this situation. Um, however, we do have a situation with no more hay. So like I said in the beginning, we need to start harvesting a tiny bit, these little guys. So let's go ahead and unpause again and harvest these guys. Lots of hay. There we go. And now I think I want to make a stockpile out here, maybe some, or maybe over here is a good, actually that could be a good space for a workshop. So I want to make a zone here for random stuff. Mostly materials. So clear all. Let's just do, we can do, I don't want bones in there. Let's see. Food, materials. Maybe. Except for herbs. I want those inside. But all this other um, raw stuff we can put in there. Warfare waste books. No, I don't want any of those things to be out here. I just want like wood and stuff there. Okay, so it's raining. But look, the roof is working. I love this. The sheets of rain like leaping off. It's so good. I like this. But oh, man, is this a soggy place to live. Holy fuzzy cats. It's crazy. But I wait, hold on. Look at this. The rain like dripping off. Let's go slower speed. Ah, oh, that's great. That's fantastic. I like that. All right. Anyway, let's keep going. Uh, let's see. Iron nuggets. Ooh, is this an iron vein? Oh, I didn't have to look far at all. Look at that. Iron vein. Nice. Okay, so we don't have any need for an iron deposit yet. Um, but that will come soon. With the research, obviously. So Okay, so with our research, so here's the issue that I have with the research. It's the produce amount until you have, okay, sure, we have 120 at the moment. So the next research we would want is like 100 and uh, would be, what, um, 240? Or no, is it 250? Let's check. Okay, if we get preserving food, or let's get something more interesting. Let's get like uh, clay brick making. That could be fun. Look at this. We got clay shingle roofs and we got brick walls and stairways and windows. They look great. Clay brick floor. That sounds cool. Um, so we have 20 available, right? This is what's so bewildering to me. It just feels kind of funky. So we want to have a total of... So here's, here's, there's no total of what we have researched. So we have to look back and see what we have. So we have a hundred and then plus clay bricks. So we need 250 total. 
Now, the saving grace of this whole thing is I don't think this actually costs any materials. So you can actually have them just produce forever. Uh, someone on the Discord mentioned that, and I found that highly amusing. But I expected that they would take, like, I don't know, uh, wood or something at the very least. But, okay, let's go and look. Look at this beautiful landscape. This, this is really glorious, isn't it? Just the trees waving in the wind and the sun. Oh, it's lovely. It really is beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay, did we get our... I guess we got our entire roof. You know what? I'm going to cancel these um, deletion orders. There we go. That's fine. Uh, Alright, so they are... Are they still looking for trees? Do we still have tree cutting orders going on? No. Alright, but we probably should make some. Let's chop these trees here. Because wood is necessary. It is good stuff. Uh, all right, we want to make some of the other production buildings. So we'll make a Oyer's table. Sure. It's just um, one away from the campfire. Oh, there's ash here as well. So there's um, a few of the... Wait, is that that way? Yeah, I love this. Look at this. It's got a pole lathe. Is that not fantastic? I love that. That's so good. Uh, anyway, ash, yeah, is waste. So that's one thing you also need to plan for is have a a toxic dumping ground. Wait, what is that? Oh, there's a hole. That's funny. Interesting. And then these black parts are actually levels up. So you can, yeah, you can go ahead and just go up. Uh, there's Z and X or Z and X, depending on your proclivities. I think I'll make a garbage zone, maybe. There's a lot of industry stuff out here. Oh, I don't know where to put it. Here, how about right over here? Just like hide it. Put this here for now. And this is gonna be clear all. Can I do just, we can have dumping stock. What is dumping stock? Waste, okay. You get vegetable rot and ash there. So there we go. All right, there is our lovely little house. And I think I would like to make a second story uh, so that you can see how that is done. I'm really happy with our progress so far. Our food is growing, which is nice. We got maximum yield in four days, six days, eight days, and 14 days. So these definitely have very long grow times. Uh, but I think we're going to be just fine with stuff. Let's go down so we can see stuff and there's a deer of course walking inside now we can make things like windows which are nice go ahead and get these guys let's have some windows in the kitchen and then some windows out here as well so our people oopsies so our folks can like watch the outside world as they work Okay, I need to put somebody on research as a priority, I think, because they're not doing it. All right, who loves research? Zero, zero, oh dear, this is not good. Uh, okay, so I want you to, you're doing hunting, constructing, and research and mining. All right, that should be fine, I think. So then Galfred should go to the research table, I hope. Hello? Are you coming? Hello? There is a door here. Have you seen that door? Oh, you haven't seen the door. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> okay, Galfred, where are you going? Hello? He might be hauling some stuff. Like if people are chopping trees, he might be grabbing some stuff going on there. Oops, oops, hello. Not working. Hauling to stockpile. Okay, so there's like little lines and it shows you where they're going. And I think I'm going to take him down a notch from this. Oopsies. Yeah, you can right click to go down um, a slot. So what are you going to do? Hauling to stockpile. That's nice that they don't like completely forget what they were doing. That's And just like drop it. I remember sometimes that happened. Okay. So he is constructing now. Okay. Oh yeah. Shoot. I put all these windows in. Darn it. Dang it. Here. I'll put that down. Down. Just go and make stuff. Please. But I think research should be. Yeah. That's a hard one because we do want it happening most of the time. Okay, so he didn't listen to me. He's still, he's like, I have a passion for this KOS. Let me build windows, please. 
So they're both working on the windows. It's fine, though. It'll be fine. But anyway, you can build uh, stairs. You can build uh, beams, which uh, we didn't need in this structure because uh, this was one of the things that was kind of confusing to me. Um, you can't build a roof unless it is supported on both ends, like the edges. So that's how this roof is happening. Here, give us this stuff again. So you see it's supported on this edge and that edge by the walls. Now, if you don't have walls, like I had a big open room and then I had another section over here, which was a two story section, but I didn't have a wall here because it was just big. Uh, and an open thing, what you can do is you can use a thing called a beam, a wooden beam. And those cross, oh, whoopsies. Hello, come back. So those cross the room, or you can put a wooden wall pillar and put a beam. So what I had to do was make a beam, and this won't do it because I think it's too long of a distance to go this way. But I know that you can span at least eight. This is 10. So you can definitely span 10 tiles before needing another uh, wooden wall to put it in there. So I can probably load that game just to show you at the end. Because I don't think we're going to get there with these guys. Things are going a tiny bit slow here. So come on guys, wake up. Hello. Now the other things we have are, let's see, we have those different items. I hope they build those. That would be very useful if they did. Okay, they're going eating. They have, they're sitting at their nice little uh, stuff. Yeah, there you go. Make some windows. See, windows actually let light in. And we can actually look at these people. Let's see, let's talk to Osfrith here. He has thoughts. Slept in an uncomfortable bed. Oh dear, minus one. Ate a nice meal, four. Okay. And then we have uh, stats, food and sleep. Attributes, movement speed, construction speed, all of this stuff here. I'll just go ahead and go down so you can kind of see and just pause the video if you want to look at all of those. There's quite a few of them. Wound regeneration. Nice. Um, skills, uh, of course, we looked at. And then we have inventory, mass carried. And I assume if there's too much mass carrying, they're going to slow down. And this is their temperature they're happy with. And then their biography, and you can read the stuff that we have seen before. Yeah, Osfrith the Thoughtless Innkeep. <laughs> okay, let's pause. They seem to be bored. Villagers are idle. Oh no, why is nobody researching? Oh, I didn't, did I not? Oh, geez, I didn't put the number in. Okay, so we want to have, I don't know, 500. Let's just do that. Sorry about that. I'm using my numpad and every time I press five, it resets the camera. That's one of the hot keys actually uh, for that. Um, but let's look at the other products you can make. So at the bowyer's table, we can make a short bow or a war bow uh, currently with our technology. At the woodworking bench, we can... Oh, we need, we need wood. Oh no. Well, that makes sense. Okay, <laughs> let's go and get some more wood. Let's just chop these trees here. There we go. No, no, no. Come on. This. Yo, there we go. And so anyone who is bored can go and chop trees instead of sitting being bored. I'm not a fan of boredom. There we go. Well, that's a bit of a creepy music, isn't it? All right. Go, folks. So Christian is making stuff. Where are you going, dude? Hello? Falling to stockpile. No! Oh, it's Galfred. Ah, he's still writing. Excellent. Very good. Very good. They also have religious alignments and societal alignments. So, cabbage has rotted. Oh, yes. That's another thing we need to do. Because this stuff is rotting because of ground type. Another really important thing that you should do is make floors. Now, do we have... I really would like to make a clay floor, if possible. Uh, clay brick making? Not yet. We only have 30. Okay, let's make a wooden floor, especially for sensitive things. Let's just make this, because let's put this here, and we'll make it for the food pile for now. And then the rest we can make in uh, a clay floor instead. All right, nice. 
Ah, oh, look how pretty. We got light coming through the windows. Apparently that's an important thing. Um, I think you can mouse over this. Yeah, let's light flood into dark places. Isn't that nice? Okay, and now they're building the flooring for these things. And our chronicles are slowly increasing. I probably should have all three of them doing this. And actually, I might do that. Um, I was going to put stockpiles here for the, the bows and things. But I don't think we actually need it. Let's go ahead and just make another basic research research bench. Let's make one there and maybe another one here. Sure, why not? Okay, great. Oh, Galfred is constructing. He's doing the things and the stuff and the lathe is coming into being. Hooray! Alright, nice. So here we can see at the woodworking bench we have a staff. We have a cudgel. A wooden spear and a wooden flail. First, I thought this flail was for, like, processing flax. Ooh. All right. This is interesting. So, I haven't seen any enemies in my other game because I was like, eh, I want to build a peaceful colony. Go away. But I'm going to let them come. So, uh, Lucia doesn't stop looking over her shoulder. But it's the bleeding wheels around Lucia's ankles that give her away as a prisoner on the run. Will you conceal her? They may be followed. Yeah, welcome. It's fine. All right, Lucia, what kind of skills do you have, my dear? You are great at tending wounds. That's perfect. Convalescing, go. All right, you like constructing, so that's nice. Carpentry, smithing, cooking, excellent. Hauling, sure. Cool. All right, I think that's good. So go, do your thing. We now have a female in our colony. Let's see anything about her. Just go. Wow, she's age 65. Wow. Still a jailbird. What the heck happened to you, girl? Let's see. Brutal shipwright. Lucia had done her time building vessels on the docks and could turn her calloused hand to all manner of construction. Ports being rough and ready places, Lucia also knew how to throw a punch and dodge a scoundrel's shiv. When the world changed, Lucia had fallen from grace, ending up in prison. Fate in the form of the great mortality, sickened guards and filched key, offered a window of escape. Lucia now had an unhealthy fascination with torture and tools- What? And tools of punishment? Uh, Lucia, hello. The Bastard of Dull. Wow. An apologist for the philosophers of the na natural order, Lucia harbored a nagging fear that whatever her errant father was, it might be a follower of Gregorius, or even a cannibal. Lucia's friends called her bastard and made it worse. Oh my god. Alright, so perks. She's precocious, thin-skinned, delicate, and nervy. It is important to keep her comfortable, so she's gonna just riot on us if we, oh, if we don't have a bed for her, for example. Uh-huh. Yeah, we'll make a bed for her. <laughs> Let's make her a bed. A hay sleeping spot. Let's just put that there. Uh, all right. The other... Let's see. What else about you, Lucia? You were outgoing. So, moon target plus five. Mood change speed minus five. A great sport. Always setting up bouts, games, and sing-alongs. She's a jolly soul. So, she's a thin-skinned jolly soul. <laughs> Sad times. Oh, my God. Alright, so not enough beds, it tells us up here. Here we also have our uh, days, time, fog, weather stuff. And then we have our food stuff going on there. Important bits. Okay, so, oh, here's how it shows us how many we have. It's nice. But yeah, it would be nice on the research screen if we had more information like how many you have invested, that kind of thing. Because I don't really want them all making forever, necessarily. I don't know. But we'll see how it goes. It'll be fine. Wounds tended. Okay. So people tended her wounds. That's nice. She is wearing a most interesting dress. Oh dear. Poor thing. Uh, well, hopefully we can refashionize her and it'll be fine. But anyway, I, um, I think it's almost time to stop this episode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this one. Let's save the game. Okay. And we'll call it tube 02. So I always name it after the next episode. Then we go save. Uh, and then we're going to load our other game. 
because I really want to show you the two-story building stuff. Go. And uh, my first game, of course, is always a test game where I can make lots of mistakes and do different stuff and try to figure things out so I can have a nice uh, episode for you. And um, you'll see some interesting things, but just to show you the building, it's kind of important. So here we have our little, um, we have farm crops. And we used to have carrots here, but I finally deleted them because it's like way too much food. But here is our two-story house that I made. This walkway doesn't actually do anything. I built it solely for the purpose of getting a roof on the top of this. And if we go down, we can see the layers here. Okay, so this is, I created a big research room, which has three research benches here, and we have stockpiles for both of these. Unfortunately, you can't really extend stockpiles, so these are two separate ones. Um, I've had massive issues with doors. Like, if I put a door here, they won't go sleep. So I had to take the door away. Um, but yeah, we have a tiny staircase going down here. So let's just go down one more level. And, um... Yeah, this is, this is the second floor view, which looks absolutely bizarre. It does not show the floor. I don't get this. Um, I hope this gets fixed, uh, but it's weird. Um, anyway, you can also see beams underneath. That is a good feature. Uh, those actually help hold the floor up. At first, I was uncertain how to use beams and columns and things, but that's I managed it because I had some empty spaces where flooring wouldn't work or wouldn't allow me to place it. So I put the beams and it was all good. So let's go down one more level. And this is how I have my other house set up, or my lower floor set up. You can see the door here. I think it's so, I don't like this transparency thing. It's really weird. I wish it kind of had like, you know, walls on the back, kind of like the Sims view where it would cut off the front wall and then leave the back one or something else. Cause this is the, the, the other layer, this is it. You get either this or you get this, which is strange. Anyway, um, yeah, I have, these are columns here. And then we have the, of course, the beams, as you saw. And I'll show you, can I show you this? These beams, there we go. So there's a roof here, this one. This is what I was talking about in the uh, other area about beams. So I had to have beams here to actually support that roof, the other side of that roof. So I hope that's quite clear. Um, anyway, we had we have all the woodworking tools here. This is all the food. We had masses of food. And look at all this this waste. It just keeps rotting uh, because I have way, way, way too many. And these are this is stuff they need to harvest yet. Um, so it's a lot of, I think a little food goes a long way. Here's our stockpile that I made for regular wood stuff. And then here is our waste pile. But for some reason, they're not that crazy about hauling stuff. And I don't know why. Um, I might need to change their jobs or something. Yeah, research. Only one of them is um, high on research. But for some reason, they still haven't hauled this stuff out. Let me just make sure that this stockpile is correct. Hello? Yeah, waste's not allowed here at all. It's like, nope. Let's just take it off again. Hello? Hello? Oh, and this is a thing. See? You can always see your villagers, even when they're floating in midair. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, oh, he came and got it. Maybe that's all it needed. So there are some like, okay, game, when you just need to poke you a bit. So like reset the stockpile. But I have, um, even with reloading the game, it didn't quite take. So anyway, this game is quite buggy at the moment. But I don't know. I, I had a lot of fun exploring this, figuring it out. Uh, playing a bit, and I just thought I would share it with you. So thank you so very much for joining me. Um, this game is going to come out soon. Um, they're going to have a public beta test, and then they're going to release on Steam Early Access. So uh, that's kind of the schedule. I don't know when that will be. That's up to the devs. Uh, so anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.